Hello there, my friends, and welcome back into the fray, as you can see. Welcome back to our campaign with uh, Lufor Harkon and the Vampire Coast. Now, you might wonder what the hell is going on, since I jumped straight into the middle of a battle. And the answer is, the damn Lizardmen, again. You see, that army from the north of Lord Mazdamundi attacked that town that they uh, conquered it before, and now I have to defend it, but I didn't have the time to rebuild uh, the garrison to the max. So we are going to fight it with a tier 2 garrison. And unfortunately we pr are probably going to lose, because they have super duper elite units. Even if there's only 12 units in their army. At least there's some good news. And the main goal here is gonna be to do as much damage as possible, basically. That's all we can hope to achieve here. Because we have shit units and they have great units, so... There's that. We do have a unit, so a unit of Depth Guard with pole arms, so there's that. In case you're wondering what they have, well, there's Ancient Stegodon, Feral Bastelodon, some Temple Gods, some Saurus Warriors, some Blessed Horned Ones. As you can see with all the stats anyone would ever need. And of course Lord Mazdamundi himself with a mount. If you ever wondered what he looks like. And well two units of these. Pterodon riders. With fire leech bolas. We do have rave storm surprisingly. I'm not sure if I'm gonna live long enough to use it three times, but we can try. Now, if we manage to destroy, like, even just two or three units of theirs, it's still gonna be a big achievement. Because we do have that army of um, Captain Newman in the, in the south, relatively close. So, I will try... Well, I will bring him. Well, at least they didn't get into... They didn't damage the ranged ones. Why are you running? Shoot those. And you shoot those. Okay, I will send them forth. He's doing some magic bullshit on me. Yes, 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 use the bloated corpse, kill the temple guards. Let's see. Yes! That's how you do it. Well, Lord Mazdamundi might as well be unkillable. I prob He's probably gonna destroy my whole army, but I can at least do as much damage as I can to his actual units. Destroy the, the flyers, maybe? So I told you to move there. And now we have another one of these. Didn't do very much, unfortunately. Dumpy. 
Yes, they are killing the Pterodons. Like I said, any destroyed units will be a boon. My blessed horned ones are gonna destroy those things, unfortunately. You try to destroy those, and you try to kill those. Like I said, the goal here is to... The goal here is to destroy units. Winning is probably not possible. There's just three remaining. Kill them! Okay, now there's two. Now there's one. Come on, you can do it. I guess you can't. Still, they lost some units. Well, as usual, it's funny that I had three times their number and they still whooped me. And I don't think I killed anything at all. Like, the properly destroyed. Did lose almost a fourth of their army, though. You see, that's the problem faction slash race has. If you lose, you lose literally everything. Is he capturing it? Or did he sack it first? Please don't tell me you're sending more. Okay, I think he sacked it, and now he's coming south. And he's gonna take another turn of attrition damage. And if Captain Newman has anything to say, he's dead. Cause because of attrition, uh, he can't regenerate his losses. So, uh, yeah, the damage I did before is gonna stick at least one turn. Oh yeah, and down here I have two armies from the court of Libaras, who are now uh, countryless, basically. And Lufor Harkon, who is in the process of rebuilding his army after that. Really weird, yet uh, surprisingly entertaining battle. By the way, I haven't actually recorded... I lost 2400. I haven't actually recorded... Uh, this game for... Um, I think 8 or even 9 days. Something like that. So, uh, I do have uh, to catch up a bit. Well, these armies are shitty, but they're not exactly pushovers. Archon is back, though. And I can beat them piecemeal. I do need an agent, though he made another level, apparently. So, what were we going for previously? Was it like more weapon strength? Don't really want charge bonus. That doesn't really do much for me because it only affects sirens from the stuff that I have. This might be something. I think I'll go with more hit points. I have 10,000 almost, that's not a pushover. But, K 
Campaign movement range. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Movement range is like really good at all times. My madness is not weakness. Also, I need to <laughs> re-recruit another hero with vampire lore, but thankfully there's one on right here. Also, this business... Yeah, we kind of need that. Maybe the building for corruption, but... Maybe not right now. Not gonna build anything there this turn. I want to... I want to see... If I need, actually need that money somewhere else first. I'm gonna return there. I do need to deal with this nonsense here. And we almost forgot about this damn thing. I will not obey. Who's sieging Tlax. Four, four turns until I run out of uh, supplies. And I start taking attrition damage. I do have an agent here, but I'll be damned if I can find... All bones on deck. A vampire captain, I mean. Maybe I should build that. Actually, I won't because I need to fix all this nonsense. Damn, that g this asshole cost me one turn's income. Armored in faith. And I have no idea what this guy is doing here, but... Okay, so... How does this look? He is still fucked up from what I did. Ah, okay. Actually lost two units somehow. And for crying out loud, I needed those this turn. Bloody hell. I have to fight with 17 units. Well, I can raise some dead, but... Actually, I will take two of these. And apart from that... Hmm... Maybe... Animated Hulks, I guess. Yeah, I can catch him this turn. I'll probably fight it. I don't know where, why I have extra money, but... Sorry if I'm a bit, like, confused. I'm, uh... I haven't played this game in, uh, Like I said, in some time. Let me check my agents, uh... Oh yeah, I think she failed <laughs> dramatically and uh Fleet Captain reporting. And I didn't get to do some more attrition damage to that thing. Get going. But I have married the poorest here. I don't think she's gonna be able to reach that in four turns, but We'll do what we can. I mean, what's the garrison like here? It's it's really shitty. <laughs> well, not that shitty if I have a unit of depth guard, but not likely. against this, what do I have? Well, it's it's a decent army. Anyway, let's get into the thick of it. Ah, now I know I have money. I cancelled the Death Guard, yeah. Don't get out of range, for Pete's sake. Hmm. I think I'll do it automatically. Because... 
On the battlefield, I think it'll take freaking forever to kill Lord Mazda Mundi. The dead. As it is, at least I didn't lose anything important. And I got 2600. I got the Book of Asher. Or Asher. Spoils for all. Uh, replenishment? Is that worth it? 4%? Meh. I'll take experience. I also got the achievement of defeating this guy. Good job, Captain Newman. Also extra movement. Wow. Really, I really wish those things wouldn't take two turns, but oh well. I can go and beat that guy, whoever he is. Captain Newman is like, is melee, right? So... Yeah, physical resistance for rotting Prometheans is always good. And also my Morn Ghoul is, has leveled up again. Hmm. Seven thousand hit points. Yeah, more, more melee attack is good, I guess. Blood and toil. And since now we have, we do have a little extra. Let's let's build this. Cause it lowers our upkeep. Apparently I can do it even when inside a siege. That's curious enough. Uh, now let's finish the deal here. We are going to attack... I'm not sure which one. I mean that one is more vulnerable but... I'm not sure if I can actually reach it. But we are going to try. They have pretty much only infantry, minus the bone giant and minus the archers. So I am... and yeah, and the garrison takes part too, so... Let's murderize them. This is a really... you know what, I am going to fight it uh, manually. Because I do want to give you at least entertaining uh, battles. I once again forgot to set my timer for uh, the episode. So... Uh, what did it pass you? What? 10? 15 minutes? Giant Scorpion and the Bone Giant too. Oh my, why did I, why did I do this manually? This is the most annoying position for a battle ever. But at least I can probably make them come to me because I have the mortars. First time I, first time I noticed these, this thing has wings. Because bats, I guess. So these guys can stay in the back as usual. The Prometheans can soak up the front. Really grateful for uh, the user who told me to use Prometheans in this way. And I keep these here in case those uh, tomb stalkers, sepulchral stalkers, something like that, are gonna come on that side. Maybe I should keep all my infantry here. I'll keep the sirens on the left side, just in case. And my hero can stay around there. While Harkon himself is 
Aragon can can pretty much take care of himself. I'll use Queen Bass to destroy the Bone Giant. And everyone else can shoot at whatever they want. Also, we have Rave Storm. Is this thing like static? Or it shoot it hits them wherever they are? Because that's a good thing to know. There we go. Like this unit is <laughs> crumbling already. Like there's literally no better unit to fight skeleton horsemen than these guys. Necropolis Knights, that's what they're called. You can deal with those deers. You know, you sh just shoot at the enemy, I guess. Of course, those butchered the skeleton horsemen. What the hell is that? It's a tomb scorpion, okay. You should go to fight the Tomb Scorpion because, you know, anti-large. Also, hit them some more, I guess. That's a good strike. In melee unit losing, that's what I want to hear. Okay, so they're not, they're no match for the, the Depth Guard, I guess, because they're big. I'll drink soon. 16 seconds and they're like in heal again. Okay, those are done. You... You keep shooting those. And... What's this again? Oh, it's Kraken's Pool. I don't want Kraken's Pool. I want that thing, but... We need to wait for it a bit. The Bone Giant gone? Apparently not. Wait, what am I... You shouldn't have placed her there. Not such a good idea. Okay, time for a boss-to-boss -boss fight. Oh, that's all it took. Harkon to descend and everyone died. 
Also, this guy is rapidly deteriorating. Estimate like six seconds. Until he's gone. There we go. Victory. Pretty clean, though that, that forest kind of messed with me a bit. Also, this Death Guard unit had 300 kills. Way to go, brothers. I lost just 50? It looked like a lot more. Maybe just because my vampire captain was almost killed again for the umpteenth time. One for you, two for me. I will take, um, I will assimilate captives into the collective. On the ugly side, now I can't uh, fight these guys. But I do have a ready and willing army right here. You know what I'll do with this turn's money? I will build this thing. Swag sacks. The world. Uh, yeah, this is Captain Dubious, and yeah, let's do this. Hmm, do we want to do this in uh, manual? The tide has come in. Let's auto resolve and see where we get. Ours is the sea. Not too well, but oh well. Those units are replaceable. Spoils for all. And I'm gonna take. Well, I, that was a misclick, actually. And now finally, we're through with these damn. This damn faction. I need four units now to replace that. Oh well. So I think. I think we're gonna take Mr. Harkon to the north and we're gonna leave Captain Dubious here to the south until uh, he slash she can uh salty blood do i have two agents here Ahoy! i'm really confused but oh well so the plan is to take harkon back into the north and uh we're going to leave captain dubious there to I cannot walk forever. To, well, maintain the peace for a while and also to... And also to replenish her numbers. Also, for a uh, special battle site with supposedly better and the more units, there's really it's really bare bones right there but I will put them in the town to increase the the public ordering bonus don't want to recruit global global is really expensive now that being said I really, I really need to lower this thing uh, before the second super pirate guy comes because I haven't even dealt with this thing yet. So I'm gonna end the turn and somehow I hope we'll be able to deal with that pirate army. Also something happened the previous turn that I neglected to come, and that is Nagarond joined with the Cult of Pleasure, which means now that Nagarond is 
probably the number one superpower in the game because they probably own all of all of the North America esque continent. At least we're safe in the south, right? We don't have to worry about the, uh, those uh, those Doom Kings there. Well, action. We get lethal etiquette, which improves all uh, agents' success chance for five turns. Which would be nice if uh, Mary the Porous here would reach that thing in uh, less than four turns. But that is not the case. Hmm. Well, I still have to get here somehow and fast. Why is my public order? Ah, it's because, yeah, they were sacked and stuff. I'm also gonna build level 3 here because I'm really sick of uh, lizardmen coming and conquering it. All bones on deck. Also, Johnny Nut, <laughs> the greatest name ever, has gained a level. And I'm gonna use training. Now, I do outnumber them considerably. What? Where did you come from? Oh, sorry, I thought for a moment they were inside my borders. Okay. It's because this probably rebelled or something. I don't really care. I mean, if they attack this, I can then conquer it for myself. Well, we do have two buffs in this battle. I can get uh, another Queen Bess, but I don't need one at the moment. Let us reign. Destroy them. Yeah, I do get the garrison, which isn't much, but it's still something. And I do get the, the buffs. So, it's not exactly like I'm helpless here. These guys are annoying. The cannons are annoying, obviously, but I do have deck droppers. Like, actually, a good amount of them. I can deal with them from behind, if possible. I think we're gonna try. Time for battle. And we can save scum <laughs> if. We... And to someone who <laughs> kind of mentioned it that I'm save scumming more than I should, well, I hate losing. That's one reason. And there are some situations I think where it just kind of ruins the fun. Because somewhere, do you really want to see me build another army and go and beat those things and reconquer all, all that thing all over again? I don't think so. Alright, let us start deploying. Captain Riggs is actually a... Um, has vampire lore himself. And he is anti-large with anti-pierce well armor piercing melee. So if you guys want to watch some uh, well see how these units look like, 
There's these hand gunners. There's the great cannon, which my equivalent of is the carronade. We have some marauder champions, which are Norsken units. We have halberdiers, which are nothing special. More halberdiers, more marauder champions. Marauder berserkers. Mortars, kinda just like mine. And the things that I don't like the most, if I can find them, are the the werewolves, or well, they're not called that, but here we go, the skin wolves, which are basically armored werewolves. And the frost worm, if you want to see it. It has two heads, because two heads are always better than one. The frost worm. And the Reich Admiral blah, 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 Hoganoff. So, or Honoff, okay. I think I've bored you enough with my antics. I'm also getting reinforcements, so that's good. I'm also gonna use the corner, because corners for the corner god. There we go. I'm going to put these guys on this side because I I do have to get rid of, of those cannons and the mortar as fast as possible. We should put them here so they can hit that those units. I'm gonna put a cannon here. This should have longer range, yeah. I'm gonna put the guys with pole arms here to protect against faster moving units. And these guys, well. Gonna put two here and one on the other side. And these things can help out in this area. And I am getting reinforcements and I forgot the unit here. My freaking general. I kinda goofed up here. Do get extra units here. Let us pan the camera a bit. Can put the melee stuff here and can add the ranged units here. Also, go after the Marauder Berserkers. You guys can take advantage and go for after the Great Cannon. Going after the mortars wouldn't be bad either. No, don't go after those. Well, that unit went down fast. Engage those. No, you be useful, shoot at something useful. Have to use some magic. You should also engage in combat because why not? Yeah, 
Okay, those are done. Go after those other ones. Can shoot the other one. Move. I lost the unit, but happens in war, I guess. There we go, carpet bombing. That mortar is going down soon. You come here and do something useful. Kill those. Also, I'm stupid for moving so slow and having a plenty of melee stuff right here. Is still holding. Guess I'll just use this on the halberdiers. I mean, it wasn't as disastrous as I expected, to be honest. I'm glad my Prometheans held out, out of everything. And where's my? There you are. Let's uh, let's mop up a little bit. Because I don't want these things to loiter around too much. I can destroy some of their units before they leave. All's the better. He can shoot uh, those. You can follow the rear admiral. You can shoot them. You know, you don't have to follow them. I think that's enough. I guess I panicked like too much for no reason. Only lost 500, they lost almost 1200. Will do, General Garrison Commander. I think I'll keep two deck dropper units and uh, probably get rid of the. Yeah, pretty much pommel them. I only lost one unit and they're easily replaceable. I'm also gonna pick replenishment because I need to go after them. I also got the the lost sea shanty first verse. And a weapon for Captain Riggs. There we go. Everything is working up well. Yeah, one uh, is like, are they gone entirely? I, yeah, the faction was destroyed, never mind. I do need to recruit or raise. Nah. Recruit another one of these guys.
yeah, all is well for a change. All bones on deck. Which is why this army is not going that way anymore. I will have to get some proper melee stuff. Actually, no. I, w I think I'll take him here so he can rec recruit what he needs for melee stuff. And uh, I'm gonna use uh, this other army to advance in the north. And yeah, money is always good. Captain on deck. Mary Salt Spray. Moving. Who has unassigned skill points? Captain Riggs has unassigned skill points. And I will take Route Marcher or Route Marcher, whatever you prefer. Yes, master. I need crew population, I guess, to build more stuff. Also, yeah, let us end the turn here. And I'll probably also end the, the episode next turn. I forgot to check if I have... Actually, no. Wanted to say I forgot to check that if I have military access with these guys, but I'm allies and that lied. What are you gonna do now? Sorry, Hexoatl. You do appear to be on your last legs. And just like that, we kinda don't have any enemies left. And sure, the Lizardmen are still a threat, but the Dark Elves are kinda beating them. And of course there's the roaming pirate factions, but for whatever reason, <laughs> they're unkillable. We built some swag stacks here. Kinda need population to... You no, know, to upgrade the town so I can build the, the vampire corruption building, but... I think I can actually destroy this. And build a corruption one, but I don't know. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna use this to... Well, this... This Mary Salt Spray character to move in the north. Because... There's obviously more for her to do there. Also, Mr. Harkon, you can go in uh, March mode. Yeah, and here we have two ruined cities, which are probably maybe home to another Skaven faction. Pirates of Sartosa hate me, but at least the other two relations are improving. Malekith. Nagarond doesn't really like me, but they don't flat out hate me either. I don't want an aggression pack though. Speak. They are number one militarily, so with Oh they don't have they only have nineteen regions. What about Exotl? I really don't see where are those fourteen regions. I mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Where, where are the, f the other four? Do they have land here in Nagaroth? Curious. Apart from that, the Blue Vipers are... They're fine, I guess. Clan Pestilence too. Camry... At least I'm not on the negative with them. 
But they don't want trade either. Still. Still I'm doing pretty good. There's these damn things here I need I really need to get rid of. What I'd really like is Oh, I can actually build rotting Promethean gunnery mobs for a change. But you know what I'll do? I'll build a vampire corruption top tier building because I'm really sick of losing corruption and Getting screwed with my public order here in the freaking motherland. So we're gonna do that. What is your They're going there. And you, my friend... Can go uh, this way. Gonna put him in, uh, in camp stance. And then next turn, we are going to get rid of these assholes, whatever spawned them. They are super elite though, but it's only 9 units, with knights of the freaking blazing sun and grail knights. But I can assault them though. With... Uh, this? Yeah, this is good. Bribery. Bribery is good. <laughs> really screw them up. Though not the, the knights, which are the real threat there. Still, they can't do any damage. Anyway, this... Uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, as usual, if you guys have any thoughts or suggestions or tips or anything you'd like to tell me, please write it in the comments below. I have been GDN, and I will see you in the next episode. Have an awesome day!